awesome. Um, I have to ask you this, and hopefully you won't be upset. I don't know, but um, a lot of people are curious. <laughs> so I'm just going to come out and ask you. You were part of sort of what's considered the original Riot Girl movement of the early 90s. Um, and a lot of people are curious about that experience and how you got involved with that and um, how it kind of, what role it kind of played for you. And I just thought maybe for a few minutes, maybe you could just talk a little bit about uh, what that was like from in your memory. Okay, why okay. would I be upset? What? I don't know, because some people, the reason I said that is because some people I've interviewed actually about Riot Girl are really hesitant to talk about it. Um, so yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if you were that way. <laughs> so I didn't want to oh, okay. offend you. <laughs> But yeah, if you don't mind. Interesting. Um, I mean, I'm happy to talk about it. I feel actually really like it's important for people to know what happened. And I also totally understand people being um, protective of those experiences, and I am too, because the media kind of went nuts on people and really right. kind of tried to steal a lot of those experiences and define them away from the people that were creating them, but, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was, like, 16 when Riot Girl kind of happened, and it rose simultaneously out of the punk scenes in D.C. and Olympia in a large part because there were um, a couple bands that were kind of going back and forth between those two mm -hmm. cities, um, and I grew up in Olympia, so... For me, it was like, you know, I'm 15, 16 years old, and suddenly I realized that there's this, like, kind of nationally recognized punk scene in this small town that I grew up in, which I had no idea, you know. It, I thought that I just lived in some dumb place that didn't matter, you know. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can go to these shows and there are all these people that are actually really interesting and um and then I was in a band starting when I was 16 that was all girls and we were all in high school and um we got involved with like there was this little like performance space that was kind of this little warehouse thing with the electricity pirated from next door and anyone could go on Monday night and to a meeting and say, you know, I want my band to play or I want to set up a show and the rule was that any band from Olympia could play there um, and if you, they were out of town, I mean, basically anybody could play there and there were shows like every night. And so I was at first meeting when I was 16 and was the next thing I knew setting up shows. And, um, and so that was where I first kind of heard about Riot Girl. Um, there was a Riot show there once. I remember it being really controversial because it was like uh, $3 for girls or $4 for boys, but boys right. could get it for $3 if they wore a bra. And um, <laughs> I remember people thought, <laughs> yeah, people thought that was very messed up or something. I don't know. I thought it was cool. We just like lent bras to our friends who were boys and, um, and CWA played. Do you remember them? Did you yeah. hear about them? Yeah, they played. And um, oh God, what was that band called that did that "Burn the Flag" song? Anyway, it was you know not not like the big famous bands necessarily, but like a lot of bands that people who were kind of like paying attention at that time would probably remember. And um, I don't know. And then there's like all these girls that dressed all crazy wearing, like, I don't know, tutus and <laughs> granny glasses and whatever. It just was, like, a very um, opening experience for me at the time because I just had – I'd been looking for something like that, you know. I really wanted to be a part of something that felt important and that felt like my perspective was central to it and – the punk scene that I'd been involved with, you know, it was it was great. You know, it was really inclusive in a lot of ways. But also, just was really male because our culture is really male. And right. Um. So, but I was also, you know, it's like there's so much shit between girls where it's like, I, you know, looking at these girls and thinking like, oh, wow, these like 
powerful girls who seem to know each other and kind of have a club and that means I'm excluded and I'm not cool enough and Mm -hmm. just having all this projected kind of popularity shit that um that I was feeling around that and then and then at a certain point I think I like started thinking about feminism and kind of just wondering like what is it and is it something that I believe in and um and I was talking to someone on the bus about it one day, and they were like, oh, you should go to a Riot Girl meeting. And I was like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> um, but then I did. I ended up going with a few friends, um, and it was actually it was kind of this really amazing day that I hope someday to, like, I don't know, make a short little film about or something, because it was just so... Um, iconic in terms of like yeah. what people think about in terms of what Riot Girl was. It was like Halloween of 1993, and I started the day, or no, 1992. Yeah, um, I started the day by getting in this giant fight with my dad and being like, "Fuck, I don't want to do something new today." And then my friends called me and they're like, "No, we're going to the Riot Girl meeting," and so we went, and it was, um, it was. I know that the Riot Girl meeting started um, in the laundry room of the Martin, which is this apartment building downtown Olympia, but by the time I started going, they were at Evergreen, so oh, yeah. which is the liberal arts school in Olympia. And so Actually went, we went to Evergreen. To Evergreen. <laughs> you, went, you went to Evergreen? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Well, you know in the um, cab building, the upstairs um, – You know how there's all, like, the student groups and stuff upstairs? And then kind of at the end, there's this, like, pit where um, it's, like, the floor kind of goes down and there's this kind of seating situation. Anyway, that's that's where the meetings were. Um, Oh, awesome. Yeah, and so (laughs) we went out there and, you know, went have there was a riot girl meeting and a lot of people there and and just – and it was a lot of the people that I'd seen it and felt really kind of intimidated by and I remember my friend um my friend Molly being like you know oh because they were talking about you know why why don't people why do people have these feelings about what Riot Girl is and why don't they just come to a meeting and see and Mm -hmm. Molly was like well you're intimidating I mean maybe sometimes smile at people and um and people are like, I don't want to have to be a 24-7 representative of Riot Girl. I'm just living my life. Sometimes I'm kind of mad or mean. Right. And so, I don't know. It was just, it was really, it felt like, you know, it felt like being on the outside and then just suddenly being inside. And it was, um, I don't know, it was really important to me. And it was, I mean, it's interesting looking back because I, you know, I noticed how, certain things happen, like I totally adopt certain um, ways of speaking and certain, like the ideas, I just kind of like absorb them, like it just immediately felt like a part of me and um, I don't know, the fashion, like I just, yeah. it, because I personally was not the person, I wasn't one of the like, however many people, like eight people that kind of actually naturally birthed this movement, I was like, a little bit younger and really excited and like absorbed it and became really fast. And so it's interesting for me looking back and seeing the ways that I was, you know, playing out my own stuff around alienation and inclusion, yeah. popularity and all that stuff. Um, but so then we left that meeting and I just thought we were exhilarated. Me and my three friends that I went with, we were just like, so happy and we had found out at the meeting that Bikini Girl was playing that night at this house show and so we went to this show and it was like just 